I'm gonna show you how to save time and speed up your Amazon business process using the Amazon Inventory Upload. So stay tuned. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson. I've been selling on Amazon for about four years now doing online arbitrage. And I'm currently on a mission to do one million pounds. I'll drop a link to the video up there. And also as well, I run Fast Track FBA, which is a support service for Amazon sellers doing leads, VAs, lots and lots of support services. But you know what, enough about me. Let's get into this video now. Right today, I want to do four things. Number one, I want to show you where to find and download the inventory file if you want it. But don't worry, I've got a copy down below if you want to just download it now. Number two, I'm going to show you what you need to fill out, what's required and hey, what's not. Number three, we're actually going to get it filled out and I'll talk you through step by step and show you it on a live screen share of how to actually fill out and upload the inventory uploader file. And number four, we're going to see the results of that and you know what, you are never gonna add products the same way again. So let's get started. So first things first, come into your Amazon Seller Central account. And the first thing you wanna do is go to inventory at the top here. Once you're in inventory, you just wanna to go to add products via download. If you click on that, obviously that's gonna get you to the right page. Now at the top along here, you've got three tabs. Go to the download and inventory file, and then you wanna scroll right down. It's not very easy to find, Go right down to this inventory file. It's kind of like a gray area that we just kind of hide. Literally open that up, expand it, and then down here you'll see all the inventory files. You are after product matching only. Now there are lots of other inventory files you can use if you're doing other things such as private label, creating new listings, but for us, we are trying to add onto existing listings only. So we're gonna be using the product matching. So we're gonna click on that, and then just click here under file name, inventory load. Click on that, and what that's going to do is load up this little page, and then quite simply, halfway down, because obviously it's not even easy at all, is download the inventory file. So click there. And that's just going to download the inventory file. Now, once you've downloaded that, obviously you're going to get an Excel file. This is going to be it. This is what you're looking at. And quite simply here, it tells you the instructions, the data definitions, anything in orange is what you're required to do. And then anything in white is uh, nice to have, but not required. So orange is the requirements. And then actually number three, tab number three is the template. Now I'm gonna load this up in a Google Sheets version that you can download as well. And again, the link is down below. Here is one I made earlier. And what we've done here is quite simply just highlighted the columns in orange, which you need to complete. So let's just go through right now. Okay, so we have got SKU here. Now SKU is stock keeping unit. That is a unique reference for your Amazon stock. So you can give that a random reference name, like we're calling it test one, two, three now. Then you want the product identification number. Now my advice would be put in an ASIN here, Amazon stock keeping identification number. And the reason why you do that rather than a barcode is because sometimes barcodes can go to multiple ASINs. So using an ASIN is gonna help you. Number three we've got here is a product ID type, and that basically just tells you what type of barcode or reference number you're using in the previous column. So one means it's an ASIN. Then we've got the buy price. You don't need to bother putting in the currency. It's obviously for the, the marketplace you're uploading to. You can put the minimum prices in, but we don't. Item condition 11, that means it's a brand new item. And then quantity, we leave it blank. The reason is, is we set the quantity on shipment uploading. We don't actually check it create quantity on listings loader. And then we use A for add and delete because we're adding the product to our inventory. And if we go across, fulfillment center, we use Amazon EU. And if you're doing fulfillment yourself, i.e. fulfillment by merchant, just set that to default. And then finally come across, and here is one of the real advantages of using the listings loader. You can de bypass the battery requirements, the hazmat requirements, and just get those listings uploaded straight away. So you can click false and false. And that is it. All of them have now been filled out. Apart from here, supplier declared H regulations. Just click not applicable or change it to not applicable. And that is it really, nice and simple. Now, if you wanna know more about those, what you need to put in each box, again, come back to that listings loaded page and on the Excel file, obviously on, even on our file as well, you've got all the data definitions. They just talk you through you know, what the ASIN is or if you're gonna put a UPC or an EAN number, you can put them in. And then also it just highlights which columns you need to have products in. 
So that's gonna really help you out in your uploading. So how do you fill out the inventory uploader file? Well, quite simply, we've already filled out one row for you, which is gonna make your life a lot easier. So I'm just gonna fill out another one now to show you an example of when we upload it with two products, whether it be two or a thousand, you can still do exactly the same method. So let's jump on now and have a look. So what I've done here is quite simply just create, found another product and I'm going to grab the ASIN. Now this is a, a product which I can sell and I'm quite happy with that. So, I'm gonna take that ASIN and drop that into my product ID, column B, and then I'm gonna call it test, I'll just do dash that ASIN, nice and simple. That's gonna be my SKU. Product ID type, well, we know it's an ASIN, so I'm gonna choose one. Price, let's call this 102, 100 pounds exactly. And then item condition, that's gonna be 11. And then add and delete is gonna be A for add. And then I'm gonna use Amazon EU, the shipment, because I do FBA, so I think for mine, again, if you're doing FBM, I'm gonna use default. Again, are there batteries in it? No, no. And then quite simply, the final bit is over here, supplier declaration, not applicable. And that is it. That is everything now filled out. So what do I look to do now? Well, quite simply, I just want to come up and do file, download as TFV. Now, if you forget, we've named the actual tab download TFV, just to remind you. So file, download as TFV. That is going to create a file that you can download and now upload to Amazon is going to help you out. So that file has now been created. Really simple. Let's go back into our Amazon upload. So we're now back in here. And what we want to do is come into again, inventory, add product via upload. And then we want to come over to the second tab, which is upload your inventory file. So again, we want to come in, but this time skip step one. We want to go straight to step two. Inventory loader file and click file upload and choose our file and then choose the file that you want to add. So voila, there you go. And then finally, you can add an email in there. So if you've got lots that you're gonna be uploading, you can put an email in, that's fine. Or if it's a quite a quick one, you might not, and just wait. So let's click upload. What you're gonna see here is that it's now showing, it's uploading that process and it's doing that process. So it says the inventory file has been received, we're processing it and we'll get back to it. So we'll give it a moment and let that upload. And you can see right here now that that upload is in progress and what we're going to do is wait for that so normally i grab a coffee i do something maybe go for a run for example like i'm in my gym kit now and then we'll come back and then we can actually see that items in our inventory once that's finished while we're waiting for that i just want to ask you a quick question i'm all for speeding up my business making my processes faster so quick question for you what's one thing that you've done which really speeded up your business i'm interested to know Maybe it's the inventory loader file, maybe it's something else. Let me know, drop it down in the comments below. I wanna learn from you as well. You can see right now, it is now complete. So quite simply, let's just go into our inventory and actually look at our product. So again, I'm gonna come back to my original product and then take this SKU just to show you what's come in. I'm in my inventory, manage inventory. Now obviously quite simply, I'm gonna be blurring out some of the stock that I'm using. Go inactive. Okay, that's fine. And you can see straight away that up here at the very top, it's got test and then the barcode. That is the ASIN that I, or SKU, sorry, that I uploaded in that inventory uploader. And it's got the price of 100 pounds. So again, it's got available zero, it's got nothing, it hasn't even got anything because we didn't upload any stock. You can see that those two products now have come through and they are available in my inventory. If you don't know, we actually have this inventory loader file built in as part of our ultimate sourcing sheet. This is whereby what you can do is you can add your products into your buy sheet and then we dynamically create this file automatically, even with custom SKUs, which allow you to find out so much more information. If you want to know more about the ultimate sourcing sheet and it is a complete management tool for your Amazon business, have a look up there. It's really good. Right, hopefully you've found that information useful. If you have, hit the like button. And then finally, one thing which I'm also going to ask you is if you like these kind of automation systematization of your business and speeding up processes, we do something called the ultimate sourcing sheet. And this is a management sheet, which is going to really help you manage your Amazon business. What I'm going to do is I'll drop a video around here of that ultimate sourcing sheet so you can see it. And it really helps scale your business. Right now, we've taken Amazon sellers from, should we say, low five figures per month up to very nearly six figures per month using nothing but this and no extra VAs, no extra services. So 
just by having that intelligence, driving their business has made such an impact. What I will say is from me, Thomas Parkinson, thank you very much for watching and let me know about your journey. Drop it down below. Bye-bye.